guys welcome back to another gerbil video today i'm going to be talking about full gerbil care so basically everything on how to care for your gerbil so i guess it would be more basic than when i do my videos which are in full detail on how to care a gerbil for a gerbil but this is just kind of the rough idea on how to care for them so my gerbil daisy is here i think she's having a little sleep so sorry if you don't see her throughout this video so there is Daisy, <laughs> just hiding away. So the first thing I mentioned is that when you get a gerbil, they'll have to be in pairs. They are social animals and it's pretty mean to them to keep them on their own. I do want to mention that Daisy was in a pair. She did have a sister Maisie, but females are known to be aggressive and they fought and then we separated them and then earlier this year Maisie unfortunately died and because she's kind of old now, our oh, Daisy's about two years old so it would be hard to actually find a gerbil that's her age and then the cycle doesn't keep going on and plus I'd have to get the money to get a bigger cage because this is perfect size for just one gerbil but not for two unfortunately especially one at Daisy's size so gerbils will need to be in pairs of two or more Then now I'll talk about the cage and its setup. So the cage, well this is a gerbilarium from Pets at Home. This is good for two baby gerbils for a little bit or one adult gerbil. Daisy and Maisie were in this until they fought, but when they were babies, they, this was perfect size for them and this is perfect size for just Daisy. You can get a bigger gerbilarium, it's like this, but slightly wider. Or you can even get them tanks. The tanks are really good because they'll provide lots of space. Gerbils do kind of like platforms, I guess, like different places to explore, but they are mainly into digging, but you could like build, build in a, your own platform. So then inside the cage, well, yeah, you can get platforms, like I've already said, uh, you will also need a wheel. Well, some gerbils may not use them. Uh, my cousin had gerbils who just sat on the wheel. They didn't really do anything on it, but Daisy loves to run on her wheel and Maisie used to as well. You won't want a wheel which is made of bars, because in the world, gerbils will lose their tail uh, like to defend themselves. So if a predator grabs them by the tail, they'll just lose their tail completely. And I don't think it grows back and then they like chew away at where it was. So it's not very nice. You don't really want your gerbil to lose their tail. And on the wheel, it can kind of do that because they're running. Then their tail, could, because they've got long tails, it could get stuck in the bars. Then they'll think it's something grabbing them. They'll drop their tail. And so yeah, basically just get a wheel which doesn't have bars in. Here I just have this blue wheel. Uh, we did have silent spinner wheel which are really good but it's stopped moving for some reason so it doesn't really work to run on. And then you'll need lots and lots and lots of bedding. Gerbils love to dig and burrow and tide because we have lots of little burrows for Daisy and there's lots of different beddings you can use. This is like some sort of sawdust stuff. Don't actually use sawdust but it's the same type of stuff. Then you may even want extra bedding because this will just be like their bedding to dig in and burrow in like their substrate but they may want bedding to like sleep in so you can have hay they like to eat hay as well and it makes good bedding for them this is just meadow hay it's all compressed from pets corner again i think as well or you can also use shredded tissue or you can buy this stuff but it basically it's just shredded tissue you don't want the cotton stuff because that can get trapped in them and yeah it's, that's not good for them then for their bedding to be in, you'll want some hidey houses. We don't have actual houses, we made like little tunnels for them. So here's just like a bendy bridge thing, Daisy's managed to dig under it and it's just like a little tunnel thing for her. And then here is this other thing, I don't know what it is, it's like this wooden thing and it's like, like a maze sort of, she can run in and out of it. Sometimes we have it lying on the floor because then it's like a maze with all the bedding over but at the moment we just got it stood up like this. For hidey houses for your gerbil, don't like go and intrude into your gerbil when they're like fast asleep like just because you want to get them out. Your gerbil doesn't want to come out, you want to get them out. Maybe when they're awake just go and pick them up but not when they are asleep because then they'll feel like they've got no safe place, like secure place where they can keep themselves to themselves and have like bits of food and things. The only time you should really do this is if you're giving your gerbil a health check, which you you should just check them over at least once a day, maybe just to see they're okay, and or if you haven't seen them for a while, or if you're cleaning them out. 
or maybe something quite important is happening, I don't know, maybe for some urgent reason you need to get them out. So that kind of comes on to like other things for them to explore, so then I've got a little bridge thing here. And then toys. Toys are very important, like chew toys, because gerbils' teeth are always growing and they need something to wear them down on. And gerbils love to chew. So here I just have a toilet roll tube. Daisy loves to chew these at 100 miles per hour. I've literally just put it in so she hasn't had it yet. And there is one buried down in her substrate somewhere. You can get other things like buy willow sticks or other chews, but Daisy's chewing them all so I haven't got any at the moment. You can buy other toys because it's good for them to interact with things and toys are overall just good for your pets, but chew toys are the main thing really. Hay can also help keep their teeth down. It's not important to have hay, but that can help with keeping their teeth down. So the next thing that you'll need to go for your gerbil is their food, of course. You'll need a food bowl. I've got this small ceramic dish for them. And here it's just their muesli mix. It's a mix of jerry gerbil and the rag gerbil food. And here I've got some uh, sunflower seeds, I just add that on top of her food and here's some pick and mix cheese bite treats I just break up one in half and just put it on top of her food once a week and you just need about a tablespoon of food per gerbil and you can change that about every other day to every two days or around that and it's just kept in this bowl here and I've done a whole video on all about feeding gerbil so you can go and check that out you can also scatter the food, I do that because Daisy likes it both ways, so I've got food scattered here. And next is water. Water, of course, is very important. I change this every day to every other day. I fill it to the top. Uh, Daisy never drinks all of that, but I just want her to have plenty of water. So it's not needed, but your gerbil can have some exercise. This could either be on your bed, but be careful though, as gerbils are very hyperactive. Uh, or it could just be on the floor, but if you like block off any places they could hide or hurt themselves or anything. Or just like set up like a mini pen thing. So now I talk about health in gerbils. So your gerbil could just suddenly fall ill with anything and yeah that could be a problem they could get wet tail diarrhea uh, sometimes they can just easily fall from strokes or seizures one of my gerbils Maisie fell from a heart attack or a stroke or something like that back in February and I had no idea that any of that would happen so they can hide their illnesses quite easily and the next topics money you'll need lots of money to pay for food, for uh, new bedding, for new toys and furniture, stuff, you know, like reels and hidey houses and things. So sleep for gerbils. So they're not nocturnal, they don't sleep during the day, but they're not like that us where they sleep during the night. They just have like naps in and out of the day. So there's kind of like some sort of gerbil body clock thing, but each gerbil is different, just like every animal and creature is different, so they might not do that. Basically, some points they'll be really hyperactive, running around everywhere, and sometimes they'll just be asleep. So now how to tame your gerbil. To tame your gerbil, I've done a whole video on this by the way, you can go and check that out, I'll leave it in the description below. But to tame your gerbil, well, at first you'll just want to let them settle in for a couple of days and after a bit just kind of sit around the cage, let them used to you being around. Then start to put your hand in and let them come up to you and sniff you, realise you're not a threat, don't move at all and just keep your hand there and then start to kind of move after them a bit, not like really fast, don't scare them or anything, just kind of move it a little bit close to them. And then after a couple of days start stroking them a little bit with your finger, not much, just a little bit. And then when they've got used to you doing that, um, start to hand feed them. Favourites can be seeds like sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, whatever. Just hand feed that to them and they'll realise you have food, you're good. And when you've been doing that for a bit, start to pick them up. You won't want to pick them up by the tail because I've mentioned before about what they can do with their tail. Just show them that you're there, don't like scare them from creeping up behind because they won't be able to see you. Just scoop them up from the front and slowly, don't like grab them and that's it just slowly pick them up. They might not like this seen as gerbils are prey animals, but doing this can help get your gerbil to places and things. And then also playtime can really help tame your gerbil because 
it will just bring out their confidence and if you're there with them they'll like learn with you. So now some basic things that you should know about gerbils. So on average they can live two to four years. Some have even lived seven or even eight years. Some may live a year, it really depends. The next thing is that they are desert animals. So they like to dig in areas, they like having sand baths sometimes and they don't drink a whole lot of water and they're into scavenging for their foods. The next thing is that gerbils can thump either when they're excited or when they are frightened. It's like a way to warn other gerbils that there is danger if it's that they're threatened. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like it if you liked it and if it helped you. And don't forget to subscribe down below. So if you're getting a gerbil, I really hope this helped you on basic care for them. I know I do videos on them, caring for them in detail. This was just kind of basic how to care for them. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.